Welcome to Drawbly. In this video, we are drawing based on the prompt chill. You can join us by sharing your work using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button for more drawing inspiration. So Ben, tell me about what you're drawing for chill. Well, well I'm copying you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> so you came up with the idea to do the ice queen, not mm -hmm. the ice king. Uh, so I said, hey, I'm going to do ice king. Uh, but I found this really cool art of the Ice King that I, I really enjoyed. Yeah, I'm willing to share my idea. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm actually going to try something a little different than what I normally do. Mm -hmm. I do this on occasion and I just like try to block in almost as if I were sculpting to an extent. Oh, right, right, Or right. just try to block in some really quick shapes with some big brushes. I think that's a great workflow for I've this. I've had mixed, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> I've had mixed success. Uh, and you know, sometimes it kind of works out, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 it's not hard, or it's not easy, it is hard. <laughs> it is in fact difficult. The opposite of what I said the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you? What are you doing to start out? Well, since you copied me with my idea, I will copy you for your workflow. Mm. I will also be blocking out some colors and uh, seeing how that goes for me. Cool. Yeah. Well, so, I'll see you, you on the other side. I will see you on the other side. So I really like the style of that Ice King, like samurai. Very Eastern Asian. You yes, know? it looks really cool. I, I will, really like it. I will have to uh, put the name of the original artist somewhere. Absolutely, because that is super cool. Yeah, I did and not look it credit, up. I mean, yeah, it was from Pinterest, Pinterest but you know, Pinterest? all credit oh, where credit is And Pinterest is, so is I, the worst yes, for like, it being is. to credit artists. Oh my God, and, Pinterest is actually the worst for yeah, that. It's, I, I enjoy Pinterest for finding references, but oh my God, and finding is Pinterest- references quickly, yeah. Pinterest is trash at like crediting people. Mm -hmm. I honestly, so I've been an artist for a while, not of the 2D variety, but mm -hmm. I kind of greatly dislike the landscape of art as a whole right now for the way that it, you know, you know, everybody just steals everybody's art on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I am very against that, which is why I'm like, hey, I definitely want to credit this artist and I'll, you know, I don't know their name right now, but future me will definitely put it down in the description. Right. <laughs> Um, it's just so frustrating being an artist right now. I'm sure it is. I can't like relate because I'm not an artiste. You but... are an artiste, <laughs> but you're not, you know, like posting stuff online all the time and kind of dealing with that landscape. This is very true. I do not deal with it at all. Oops. I deal with trying to do something extremely simple and not being able to do it. Well, hey, you're trying something new. This is true. And guess what? Trying something new is always difficult. Uh, you're not wrong. See, why does it select the whole crown? I don't know. I'm gonna find a different workflow. I don't, I, you know, I'm not seeing what you're doing. I try to help you, but I, I'm trying to help you're myself. Like, you can barely help yourself. I right can now. barely help myself, this is true. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to survive over here, uh, meagerly. You know what? Just doing the best you can. We're switching it up. You know, I, I said I'm doing one thing, but now I'm getting back in there a little bit with the, the pencil mm -hmm. to start blocking out a couple other things. I like the big chunkies to start, but now I need to go back in. So I, I'm obviously not going for a one-to-one. -one. Uh, I cannot, mm -hmm. one, I don't have the skill. Mm -hmm. uh, two, I don't have the time. We're, we're trying to do these, you know, relatively quick and get our, get our hour count up, get our mm -hmm. practice in. Right, and, these uh, aren't gonna be fabulous masterpieces, but just choosing something to work on quickly like this, it gives us a chance to grow in ways we may not grow if we sat down feeling some sort of pressure to create something incredible. It's not about creating the next masterpiece. It's just about creating. Creating. Mm -hmm. Gonna bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of Adventure Time lately. A ton of it. I think we're on season seven now, maybe just at the beginning of it. I have watched the entirety of Adventure Time. This is your first time through. What do you think of the adventures? I absolutely and the time? love it. I feel like I'm, you know, obviously I'm getting obsessed with it really late in the day, late in the game. Everybody else already did their obsession with it. 
and mine is coming a lot later, but it's here and it's, it's strong. strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is lucky that I didn't get in on the first go round, honestly, because I would have spent a lot of money probably on like merchandise and fan art oh, and all that please. stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would have been like, if they, if Hot, you? Yeah, if Hot Topic that's exactly had sold fan to stuff at the time, I think when this t- came were you, out though. Were you a Hot Topic girl, Abby? I wanted to be. You wanted to be? What I is that? I would go and like, <laughs> look that at stuff, <laughs> but I was really, really like cheap. Like I didn't want to spend any money mm. um, for one thing, and I was worried my mom wouldn't want me dressed the way I wanted to dress. <laughs> yeah, you were kind um, of a nerd. Yeah, well, I had this like, and what was in at the time? I had grenade pin bracelets because everybody wore grenade pin bracelets what for a little mean? bit. What does that mean? What? They were just black rubber bracelets. Oh. And I layered okay. them with um, a fabric. Wait, that's it? That's that's all? They're not like grenade pins? Oh, no. They were just, that's what they called them. Oh. Grenade pins. Interesting. Um, Why? And I, I don't know, but I know, I knew I had to wear them <laughs> uh-huh. to look amazing. Okay. And you did. You did wear them. And sure enough, I did. And I did look pretty cool. <laughs> and I paired them with a lot of blue eyeshadow because I did Ooh. not know any better. <laughs> Class. I'm sure there's those out there that can relate. And um, from there, I what did I get? I had this like black and white checkered wristband. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. It was fabric. I like. Yeah. Yeah. You were one of the cool kids, is what I wasn't. I'm, but that's very kind of you. That's what <laughs> I'm kind of getting. <laughs> not even a little bit. I was also one of the cool kids. No. I wore shoes that were three sizes too large. Oh. You know, I was going to grow into them eventually. I never did. <laughs> Seriously, I don't... I remember wearing, like, size 12 shoes when I was younger, like, middle school to high school age. And then, like, in high school, I was like, these shoes are too big, and I'm not growing anymore. Like, Aww. I need to I need to buy shoes that actually fit. I, mm-hmm. I like, distinctly remember this memory. <laughs> like, ah, I am a, I'm a clown boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good look. Yes, that moment in time where you realize, like, wait, wait, I need to do something about this look because it's not a good one. Did you have, I mean, obviously now you're very fashionable. Sure, sure. Thank you again for the- When did that happen? Uh, when did, that is a great question. I don't feel like I've, ever been fashionable but i feel like my desire to be relatively fashionable has pushed me to at least try a little bit here and there but i am i don't think i'm like super duper trendy no plus it's expensive and difficult to keep up with every trend and not every trend looks good on every person Uh, yeah i don't think it's honestly i don't think it's necessarily good to be trendy Mm -hmm. but like you can be fashionable without being trendy yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and that's... I, I I feel like my style's more classic, you know. Oh yeah, you're you're a classic a classic fella, yeah, and it looks really good, and that's that's what I'd like. A lot of people try to make like what's called a capsule wardrobe. What's that? Where you practice only getting um, clothing items that are relatively like high quality mm-hmm. and timeless oh i love that yeah i'm all about this and then what people like about that is that it just takes the guesswork out of your day you don't really have to think super hard about what you're going to wear that day because everything you have works with everything else you have you know you have a lot of neutral colors maybe in your closet you are describing me (laughs) yeah exactly i think you've unintentionally um i think it's somewhat developed that yeah yeah probably without calling it a capsule wardrobe you have developed one. I have a name for myself, my people. (laughs) I know. I am one of those people who always like talks about like that, like, oh yeah, that's my ultimate goal is to get a capsule wardrobe. And then I'll go out and buy like statement pieces (laughs) and have nothing that's, um, something to tie everything together. Like a basic t-shirt. I looked in my like clothes the other day and I was like, nothing here is basic. Everything here wants to be its own statement. And you wear a bunch of statements together, mm, it is not necessarily gonna be a good look. Some people can wear a bunch of statement stuff together and they tie it together and it looks really good. I think a lot of that hinges on being able to accessorize very, mm. uh, very well. No one knew that they'd be getting amazing 
fashion advice from two fashion experts. <laughs> well, hey, they, they talk about what interests you, and uh, this <laughs> is what interests me, despite my total lack of expertise in this area. You are a fashionista. I would love to be. I actually think fashion is very interesting. Fashion interests me quite a lot. Um, but I think too that we see fashion on very fashionable people and certain fashion trends have come and gone that certainly lend themselves perhaps a little bit better to hot people hot pe- yes thank hot you. people <laughs> thank you god i wish i was hot i know i know i wish i was just one of those like genetically gifted people who just are like yes i just look like this this is my what life. i would give <laughs> for the beauty. Yes, they live a whole different life from the from anybody else. It's very interesting. Try out these clothes, say hot people. Yes. Mm. Mm, I don't trust you, hot people. It's like the. You've led me astray mo- before. <laughs> what, what is it like? Money isn't everything, says rich people. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you can you can always you know lose weight. You can always you know improve your your wardrobe but the ice king he's always gonna be he's always gonna be kind of an ugly guy you know right 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 it's it, there's so much that's just about like you know how you carry yourself how you wow. keeping your hair you know what they say it's like Will keep you teach your hair me? looking good no i can't teach you because i don't know it i just Will know teach me how to carry I know myself the theories it's like being a physicist without being an engineer somebody who actually gets their hands on and does it i feel oh, like i know stuff about it wow but I cannot put it into practice. What a beautiful analogy. Mm. <laughs> Will you? Um, so, so could you give me some some pointers on how to carry myself, Abby? You carry yourself very well, Ben. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. How do I carry my myself? Confidently. Oh, I'm so confident. Carry yourself with a lot of confidence. Just like the way I walk, because I know I. I, I know I'm bad at walking. Do you, do you, in fact, know that you are bad at walking? I have been told on multiple occasions that I bounce when I walk, and I'm very okay with this. I got, it sounds like something you were told in high school by somebody who didn't know anything. No, 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 uh, mul- no, like, to this day, like, I, I have heard this recently. Interesting. Like, from my sister recently. She's like, you know, you, you kind of bounce yeah, a little bit. That's your sister. She's just gonna, she's like... Mean. She's mean. You're just, right. I mean, <laughs> she, that's what sisters do. Like, no, but I, I'm, a, I, no, I, I like my spring, you know? I'm, I'm full of energy. I like to bounce my leg. I don't have RLS, you know. I'm not a restless leg syndrome. Okay. If I, if I could be, I would. If I could be, I would. I like to always be active, you know. I'm trying to burn them them calories. I sit down all day. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to not stay to become in shape. a lump of <laughs> a lump of a person. How's your ice queen coming over there? Uh, she's coming along. I'm still struggling here and there. She's all on one layer currently. I've just added. Oh, so is mine. Yeah. Oh, you're doing the whole thing. Oh my gosh, eh, you're going she's in. She's got a ball gown. It's not like the whole. I'm not gonna add any details. You're going to that. ham. I don't know. I don't really like some of what I've gotten. You bite here. off a little more than you can chew. I bit off a little more than I can mm. chew. Been but there. That's okay, cause you know I'm gonna learn from this. I just don't really like how. I've learned she that looks. I never. <laughs> I've learned that I never learn. Uh, from biting off more than I can chew. I just, I will yeah. I will do this again, I promise. I'll, I'll mess it up. <laughs> yes, I'd certainly serve myself better by just staying in my own little Stay wheelhouse. Stay in your lane. Stay yes. in your lane, Abby. Um, that's it's why I actually hard. really, you know, one thing I really love about this idea of just doing a little prompt here and there is that it does kind of force you in some ways to stay in your lane. You learn really quickly. Like. <laughs> You're gonna learn. If, if you don't stay in your lane, and if you have trouble staying in your lane, folks, this is a great way to get back in that lane. <laughs> Literally, like, I am so surprised. Like, I do not like how her face looks right now on mine. There's just a lot that I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of. But, and that's just the thing with drawing, is that you have to be so comfortable with the fact that not everything you draw is gonna be an absolute banger. Um, a lot of it's gonna turn out looking like, but like meh. Yeah, this is true, and this is okay. And I think the, you know, more we do this, the the more okay that you will get with that. I am uh, totally not afraid to show off bad art. Uh, as as we know, bad art is the first step to making somewhat good art. You mm-hmm. know, it's gonna take time. 
we're new to this. We're gonna have some, you know, we're gonna have some fun along the way. Yeah. That's what it's all about, folks. Getting in and trying it. Gotta start somewhere. Can't start, we started from the bottom. Now There's, we're here. Well, well we're here. Well, we're we're kind of still at the bottom. We're somewhere. <laughs> we're kind of still at the bottom. I mean, yeah. Uh, but we're working. Bit. There's nowhere else to go but up. Yeah. And if you're at the bottom right now, don't worry. You're going to get up too. Tomorrow will be the day you do great. And today you're just doing. Today you're just doing. Greatness doesn't happen. You know, like, I, I'm an entrepreneur, so... I love all the entrepreneurial sayings like overnight successes aren't born overnight. They take years and years of work mm -hmm, and planning. Mm -hmm. And then all people hear about and see very much the social media aspect of like all you ever see is the finished work, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. Like it's all about, you know, you're scrolling through Instagram or whatever and you just, you see that finished piece and it's like, ah oh, man, that's so cool. That's so good. But you never get to see all the you know, the hard work that they put in yeah. to make that. All and the heartache and like it, it, probably self-doubt that came along with it too. Exactly. Sure, there's some of that. I've never, ever doubted myself, ever. Is that a lie? <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> How's your ice queen coming? Oh, she's coming along still. I, I, I still stand by what I said. She's not going to go down in my history books as like the greatest piece I've ever made. You know, she's definitely, like we said, not great. <laughs> Probably a lot more than I can chew, but that's okay. I've made I'm, my peace with that. I'm and... adding some nice fun stuff to my crown right now uh, because my crown is very boring and I need to add some more form to it. I need to make it more visually interesting. Yeah. Ooh, your guy is coming along real well. You want to know a secret about art, Abby? Mm hmm it's a lot easier to make ugly things. Oh, I, I see a lot true. of people come in and they're like, oh, I want to make the pretty girl. And I'm like, whoa, the pretty girl. slow down there, Capo. <laughs> Have you tried making a monster? Have you tried making an ugly, an ugly boy, an ugly guy? <laughs> it's a whole lot easier. <laughs> um, you might be still a lot happier with your results. Build some confidence, you know? <laughs> it's true. I'm I'm kind of liking my my process here of just going in yoloing a little bit of everything. Um, it's actually kind of fun, like mm -hmm. you know doing everything on one layer, do it quick, keep it rough. I might have to do this a little more. All right, Abby, Ooh. what are you doing? I hate it <laughs> for finishing touches. Um, <laughs> nothing. Like I don't know. I am just kind of messing around. This is a really good example in like. Fail as fast as you can. Oh no, I'm Isn't that all one of for your it. Entrepreneurial state yes, things. Yes, yes, hundred percent. Fail quickly. Uh, people, th you know, you don't want to be afraid of failure. Failure is actually really good. Uh, the reason failure is good is because you don't learn from success. You learn from failure. And it, the faster you can fail, and the more you can fail, especially early on, the better. I am all for failing quickly. Uh, this is a very common entrepreneurial uh, statement. Fail fast mm -hmm. and learn how to fail fast because that is where you're going to learn the most and eventually uh, stop failing or, or fail less. You're always going to have some failure. Um, but yeah, I'm adding on those little extra... I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this my filling in the gap stage. Mm -hmm. I believe I said that in the last one as well. Uh, just kind of filling in my last yeah. little gaps. I've been kind of going back and forth just between two brushes uh, for the most part here. A, a flat brush to kind of, you know, paint with, and then a pencil brush, that uh, peppermint, uh, or modified peppermint Ooh. brush. Uh, and that's what I'm kind of using here. I'm trying to add some more, like, texture to the hair. Mm -hmm. I, I think hair is uh, really fun, but Obviously, I'm really bad at it. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. It is very hard. <laughs> Hair is hard. Uh, painting, drawing, all of it, very hard. Hair specifically, ah oh, man, it's just got like, it's got fl flow to it. Uh, it's kind of like drawing water. In a way, it really is. And I see a lot of little hair tutorials online that like profess like, here's an easy way to draw hair. But if, I don't know. You're a liar. I don't know if there really is an easy way to draw hair. You're a liar. 
yeah, I feel the same way when it comes to like sculpting and stuff. I'm wondering if I should add some like shading to this guy, finish him up with some little bits of shading, but I don't really have much going on there in terms of depth. So at this point, I feel like a little, a little bit of a lost cause in that regard. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some kind of more graphic-y nature to this mm -hmm. and call him complete. All right, let's see what you have and let's just like never look at mine again. No, that's fine. Hey, that is okay. Sometimes they're not gonna be good. And uh, I know I've drawn many things that were not good. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do here? Let me let me finish up. I, I, I keep saying this is my last thing. This is, I promise I my last thing. I love how yours is turning out. Let me just. You chose a really good subject matter. And maybe what I learned that. today was how important your reference is. I liked my references. I tried to like have um, a realistic depiction of the Ice Queen from Adventure Time series-ish. And then somebody cosplaying, sorry about my paint splattering over it, but somebody cosplaying as the Ice Queen that I wanted to direct some of my stuff off of. And that just didn't go well for me. I don't know exactly what I would do differently here. Maybe I would, uh, I don't know, have stuck I, with the original cartoon version. I don't think you needed to do anything different. I think you did great. And I think it, every moment that we do something like this is just a great learning experience mm -hmm. to one, get in and practice. Plus this the, is not a lot of time. You know, maybe we give in another few hours. I could have- A few years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it is not about the finished result. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about getting in and putting in the work. Well, can I see yours? I really want to see yours. Of it course. It's so cool. You can see mine. I absolutely love that. I think you should be very happy with that, especially in the time that you've taken to create it. He's fun. It's a very short amount of time and you definitely have achieved the look. Oh, it's just, you know, simple and, and rough. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get better at right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to make my rough work look gooder. You gotta get good at those basic shapes. Exactly. And then when you go to exactly. add the details on top, it's gonna look better just because your basic shapes are so solid. I'm gonna have the best basic shapes you ever ding dang saw. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. You can join us by sharing your work using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button for some more drawing inspiration. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Goodbye.